In the fire zone, you find a family feeling grateful. They saved our house. Thank God, they saved our house. They did a wonderful job, a wonderful, wonderful job, because it would have it would have gone. This log cabin has a long history. I ran around with her brother, and she was a tag along. So that's absolutely right. More than 60 years later. Well, I tell you what, this is the dirtiest you've ever seen my our place. This place, Dorothy and El <laughs> Heinzelman built. There's even ash in the house. Where they raised their four kids is still standing. All the family, all the neighbors, and they know the reason why. Grandkids, all the great grandkids. All them firefighters. All coming. those firefighters. Firefighters who are still at work nearby today after battling flames here last night. It's why this trip home is a brief one. He wants to be here, oh. and we're nervous about having to move him in a hurry. But our kids are too mean. <laughs> they want us to leave. I mean, he's been the parent his whole life, and it's our turn to make sure that, that they're okay and to take care of them. Son Corey Heinzelman so, and wife Gay. That's the way family family is. Live right above his parents' cabin and saw the danger up close. A raging wildfire in their backyard just 24 hours ago. It backed down slowly just like we were hoping, but now it's starting to pick up again with this, with the inversion that's happening. And there's still fresh fuel for flames. And we're praying that it won't happen, but the winds are, as soon as this lifts, the winds will come up and then it'll start blowing again. A stubborn fire and an anxious family ready for this threat to be over.